Today's proverb is going to set you up for life. Proverbs 11 and verse 3. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the unfaithful are destroyed by their duplicity. This proverb talks about our life, about how we can make sure that we are approaching our destination in the proper manner. Our first steps in life are faltering steps. We need to find our footing, discover how to stand and how to maintain our balance. It's interesting that much of our balance is regulated by our ears. Our ears that are so far away from our feet. If your ears are blocked or your inner ear is damaged, then you can suffer vertigo and feel the world is spinning. And even though you may have strength to stand, you will feel as though you are falling. This teaches us that walking a straight line is connected to who and to what you listen to. Once you've gained balance and strength, you must then attend to direction so you can avoid obstacles, so you don't trip over or stub your toe, so you don't wind up going round and round and round in circles. You need direction. Direction is determined by integrity. Integrity affects direction in two ways. First, it affects your destination, and secondly, it determines the information that you are going to be following as you head in the right direction. Talking about who you want to be, that's your integrity, and how you want to get there. We're constantly tempted by the strategy of accruing to ourselves false reputation, which is really a form of narcissism, which is, well, in biblical language, it is a, a pretense, it is, it is a charade, it is a wearing a mask, it is uh, uh, saying one thing, doing another, pretending, acting pretense. Um, this is really a form of narcissism. It invariably ends in self-destruction. Proverbs says, the wicked are brought down by their own wickedness. The reason we're tempted to pretend that we're good, even when we're not, is because integrity is costly. It takes time and effort to develop integrity. People of integrity store up genuine value in their reputation through being honest and true to their word. It says in Proverbs, the righteousness of the righteous makes a straight way for them. In other words, their integrity clears a path, makes the way wherein they're more likely to be rewarded and gain genuine prestige. But the narcissist parasitize that and try to reward themselves by pretending they're as good as anybody else and just as worthy of a good reputation and therefore worthy of trust and reward, even though they've not done anything difficult, not gone through all of the difficult motion of developing integrity. Integrity will lead you on a straight path a straightforward path. The straightforward path is the most obvious path to take. The duplicitous don't see the straightforward path because they're always looking for the angle. What they can get out of a person, what they can get out of a situation. If you're a righteous person who wants to do right, then you'll find your conscience, which is your internal inner ear, is sensitive to any departure from the straightforward path. You may sense you're off balance, 
tilting from the straight and true. You may even experience a sense of shame for putting on a masquerade to impress those around you. You'll certainly feel weakened because you're being leached of integrity, and integrity means strength. As soon as you feel yourself veering off course, stop and get back on track. Every step in the right direction helps influence the next step you take. Every door opened leads to the next door. When you see that you've made the right move, it automatically sets in motion the next move that you are to take. And so you start gaining momentum with your life. You'll observe that when you answer honestly, you'll feel better about yourself. Your integrity has just been strengthened and emboldened. That will help you to be honest on more essential matters in the future. You'll eventually gain a reputation for being an honest man or an honest woman. People trade on their reputation. Your reputation will open doors to you for the rest of your life. But should you fail in this regard, nobody will trust you and many doors into your future will close. Being a person of integrity will set you up for life. And that's what this proverb is wanting for you, to set you up for a great life. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. See you soon for more wisdom out of the book of Proverbs.